Hello everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. We're going to have fun with some hot foiling today. And we're going to use the Arch Messages registration plate. Uh, so, this is what I came up with. Just using the arches a little bit different and then I use some Bebo Blooms. I am an affiliate for Spellbinders and other companies. If you click on a link below and place an order, I do receive a small commission and that's at no cost to you. And thank you so much for clicking those links and placing your orders, I appreciate it. Okay, so um, what we're gonna use with this card is, again, the um, arched message registration uh, press plate and die set. Oh, I'm ready right here. This is from the Cheers to You collection. And there are sentiments. This was my first card that I made, and I did it just exactly as, uh, you know, it came just with the arches, and I uh, used my Better Press ink and did Hello Sunshine, just absolutely adorable. Adding a little flowers here with some watercoloring on that came out so pretty, right? But today we're going to use those arch messages with one of my absolute faves and i haven't gotten this out in a long time but i will never get rid of this it is the be bold blooms this is um, a flower set a floral set that honestly you need to just put it in your stash because you will refer to it constantly that's where these flowers come from so we i use this today and then i went with my sentiments from the all the sentiments from the new stampendous release and i'm just using this little hello here all of these darker larger uh, sentiments come with dyes so isn't that wonderful and then you compare them with a ton of sayings here there's so many uh it, there's sayings for everything absolutely everything so i'm really glad for that um so I had a lot of fun with this even on another video. This is a great set to, again, keep in your stash. Okay, so this card, I did my hammer mill card stock. There's a link in my Amazon uh, account below if you like hammer mill card stock. Um, that's what I hot foil on. But I made this five and a half by four and a quarter. Now, which came out very pretty. White on white, did the um, landscape right yeah landscape uh, method of folding the card eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter a lot of times I go this way and but this time we're going to go the sideways the, and I really think that came out it's just so pretty look at that hot foil isn't that fun um, always remember better press can be hot foiled okay but hot foil plates cannot be better pressed okay but better press can be hot foiled so just really came out really cute here um, but today, I'm going to use my background in black because I wanted to, uh, you know, I got this so close here after I uh, uh, hot foiled um, and I was designing it uh, that I couldn't cut it back. So it just went on the front of the card. But today we're going to use a black background to pick up the black and the hello right here. And this is five and a half by four and a quarter. Let's go ahead and... Uh, place this on our card flat right now this way I'll just get it out of the way it's just one loose piece that I don't have kind of floating around here right so here we go and let me make sure yeah well it wouldn't matter with that huh the other day I did some cards and I did them where you couldn't open the cards were the wrong way it happens right so I want to make sure that I don't see any of the white with this. And if I do, I'll trim it, my trimmer. But I think I'm pretty good. A little white right there, right? Is it enough to trim? Possibly not. You know, sometimes you can trim something and make it just shred it, right? I think we're okay. Well, I don't know. Let's go ahead and trim it. <laughs> I'm just going to cut that off just a tad right there. Just that little bit of white that's showing. And I mean, it is a snippet, right? But that does take it right to the black, and I really like that. Okay, so there's our base ready to go. And I've got my hammer mill cardstock cut back here to five and a quarter by four. So that will give us a nice. Uh, black border okay 
All right, let's move this aside. And now let's go ahead and start to place our arches. So I want my largest arch here on the top, just like that. I'm going to use a little tape here to make the little hinge, just like this. And I'm going to just flip this back. Okay. And I'm going to place my, uh, I'm using magenta and of course my favorite moon dust. And then I have a piece of, I found a scrap piece of, this is like copper. And so we're going to use that too. Just found that piece. Now always remember when you hot foil, it's the pretty side of the foil to the pretty side of the plate. Pretty to pretty is what, oops, I always say. We'll hinge that, we'll tape that back in just a second here. So just want to get this where we need it. Bit of foil there. And straighten that up a little bit. And we're going to just put that right there. Okay? And now I'm going to place this on my machine. On my glimmer right here with my two plates. One is a thin shim and then the spacer pad. The thin shim has um, a little bit of a heat protectant in it. And now, let, let me show you what I'm using while this heats up for my Be Bold Blooms. These are the leaves that I'm using. It's nice that these are hooked together because they're small. I'm using one of the larger rounds and then the two small, a large flower and the small flower. So that's what I'm using from Be Bold Blooms. And we will push those aside for right now and that's what I've, I've already got those cut out out of pink blue and then green I love pink and green and let's bring in the platinum here so once you hot foil you can always go back and hot foil over it let's undock right here and let's send this through one time slowly so that your foil transfers to your paper. Remember the foil is being pressed up into the paper this way. Okay, I glue out of the way and just like that. I'll redock that. Move this out of the way and let's see what we get. So here I'm going to Take that off. Let's see how we did. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, it's stunning. These better press plates foil like, <clears throat> like crazy. Now, this is the negative foil. You can use this on a piece, and I did that yesterday. Here's what I did, and then I use my arch dies, and I will place this here, or maybe even down, yeah, I'll put it in the middle for sure. Let me glue that on there while I'm doing it. So I, I, I did this negative foil on a solid hot foil plate and then cut out. Oh, look at that. That was the other piece of it. And then I cut it out in arches. Just had to show this to you. And now with this, I can put a sentiment I'm just going to kind of put it in the middle right there. I can use it like this and put a sentiment on it or I can use it like this, add some flowers with a little sentiment. So I did the pink one and now we're going to do the blue. I did the blue one right here, that moon dust, and I made my little arch right there. That came out really cute too. Again, a sentiment this way or use it that way, either or. But I just wanted to show you what to do with that. This one I got a little bit off with my... Um, my copper so I'm not going to use this one okay but again uh, you could put a little strip in here you know if you, if it wasn't off to one side and use it like that but I just wanted to show you what I've done with the negative foil there while we had a second okay now let's go to the next size that I used and I'm hoping oh will that fit 
O. See, that is not going to fit. Okay, so we might have to modify. Well, I don't know. Maybe it will. Hey. Let me see here. Is that right? That is right to that edge. And I really wanted it to... Let's see. Let's look here. Is it fit? Well, it actually is fitting. I have to admit. Okay, let's try it. If it doesn't come out, we'll do it again. So I'm going to put this one all the way to the edge here because I kind of want these to be off a little bit on themselves, okay? It's because I cut this paper back. No big deal. We can do it, right? So let me go ahead and flip this back. And let me use my um, moon dust here, which is my favorite color of my very favorite of hot foil. It even surpasses gold to me. So really, really like it. It's just such a pretty, pretty blue color. So let's attempt to get this lined up. Oh, we're really doing this together. Okay. And I think we're really close there. Let me feel this. See, I'm right to the edge. Right there to the edge, okay? So I do have, I can scooch that over just a hair to move it away from that pink, that magenta, just a bit. Let's try it. Let's just try it, guys. We're here together, right? So I'm right there on that edge, okay? Right there. This might can go this way just a little bit. You see, I ripped the paper yesterday, so it doesn't matter. Right on it. Let's try it. Hey, we'll try. Put that on my machine, press my timer, and I'm going to put my shims. So I'll bring my little flowers in here while that's heating up, and I'm going to place the little centers. Now there are, you know, the little centers with the holes that go on top of this, but I wanted to use my new sequence. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm just going to place these here, and these can be drying. While we get done with everything else. Let's try that. Doo. Good. I'm going to go ahead and place a glue, a little bit of glue right here. And I love these Aura Opalescent sequins. They're solid and they pick up the color that you are using. So let's see. Ooh, they even have smaller ones than what I use. Let's use these teeny tinies right here. Well, that's about the size that I did use. Sorry. Okay. And then for the larger one, we'll just put a big one right here. Right there. And they're also flat is what I love about these. Now, this has like three or four with them. Wow. Wow. So let's put this one in here. Good. Make our pretty flower. Look at how pretty that picks up the color, right? Move this this way. Okay, and this one too. Just like that. So they can be drying. Let me get my sequins picked up before I bring in my um, platinum die cutting machine. So that is the Oral Opalescence. You get a million of them in the package and they're very inexpensive. So that's a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. We'll bring that platinum in. Let's make sure I don't put it on my flower. And let's pray this comes out okay. Because I wanted to use that black border. Although it looked great with the white, but I just thought, you know, if I was making another card, we would make it a little bit differently today. Sometimes it doesn't work out. <laughs> so, 
but we'll try. Okay. Let's move this to the side. Take my shims off. And let's see what we get here. Oh, we did it! I did it! That looks great! Guys, that looks great. Okay, and again, now I can use this, um, you know, to make the solids. Okay, now inside this one right here, let me get my little magnet there. That comes with your glimmer machine if you don't already have one. Um, I'm going to use this copper right here, this little piece, and then this skinny one. And I want to put this to where it's like to the edge right here almost to the edge so that they're not all lined up that's what I'm that's what I'm going for I don't want things that are all lined up peel that piece of paper well we can just throw that out now <laughs> probably need some new tape over here right let's use this one I'm ready the more that you use your machine the quicker it heats up so I'm just going to tape this down, flip it back, put my copper here, flip this back on it if we can, just line it up there, try our best. I'm using my grid on my glass mat, and you could trim this off if you wanted to, I'm okay with it, it's okay. Let's go ahead, I'm going to push my timer right there, and I'm going to flip this over, put it on my plate there, and go for it, right? Now we have the greenery. I cut two of all of the um, little, well not all, but I cut two of each of these flowers. These, uh, these little ones, I love when they're hooked together like this, because then you don't have teeny tiny dyes flying all over the place. And then I cut two of these, and that's what made my greenery for this card. While that's heating up, let's go ahead and stamp our hello here from the um, All the Sentiments, Stampendous, that's a new collection. I'll just get a little black ink. I just have a piece of scrap paper here and I'm using my mini misty and as you see it's very light okay so that's the greatest thing about this positioning device you can just stamp right back on it and get it the color whoop, that you want you know how bold that you want it I think we're good right there so we'll cut this out in just a second Move that to the side. There we go. Close my ink up and we are ready. Right here. Pull this out, undock, and feed it through slowly. we do. And take that off. Oh, did I miss it at the top a little bit? I might have. Oh, I did. Look at that. I missed it right there. Well, you know what we do then? We move our, um, our flowers to go right here. And then I'll put my hello down in here. It's okay. We can always modify. But anyway, I should have had this paper more toward the top. No big deal. We're going to go ahead. Let me undock this. And we'll modify it, right? Move this aside. And let's bring this in. And let's cut our hello out. I was saying the other day on a on a video that I'm really bad about matchy matchy with these cards. So sometimes I should do something a little different. So we will on this one. 
There's my die. I love that that this came with dies. And we're going to roll that through. Here we go. Nice, right? Nice little hello. I'm going to move these to the side. And let's see how we can rectify what my boo-boo right there. It's very simple, right? Very, very, very simple. The other card is down here in this area with the pink on the top and the, you know, the other, um, that little like coppery looking gold. Okay, but now we're just going to move our flowers around, that's all. No big deal. Oh look, there's even more sequins stuck to themselves. Isn't that funny? They're, they're so thin, of which I absolutely love. Yeah, I think I've got one here. I think we're good here. Yep. And they're very thin, which makes it great for mailing, right? And I love that they're iridescent to where they pick up, you know, they have that opalescence to where they pick up the color. So this is going to look cute in itself. I want to put this inside. I don't want to bring that out there because I don't want to cross over that. So let's bring in some foam. And I'll just put a couple of little ones on here. We'll position our um, sentiment first so that I know where to go with the greenery pretty just like that okay let's get this guy going um, let's put a little one right there and we'll cover the boo-boo up we don't even know what happened there we go that's how quick and we'll place these little flowers here we go Nice. And let's see, let's put one here. Here, yeah. And then one here. Just like that. Now let's place some greenery. That is pretty, but the greenery makes it. Watch this. So when I bring these in, so instead of going up with these, we'll go to the side. All right, let's just look at it first. Let's see how these little guys will come down. Right into our little area here. Nice. And then we'll put two, I think, right here. Yes, that's exactly it. Let me look through the, yes. I love that. Look at that. Ah. I like the way that none of this lines up. Just a different way to use these plates and with some hot foil. Arches, arches are great, right? Arches are so much fun on a card. So let's go ahead and just kind of position these guys in here. Now, if your stem was too long there and you weren't hiding it, you could just clip it off. No big deal. Let me get my... I'm going to put this foil over here. So it's the magenta and the moon dust that I use. So pretty. Don't want to forget to add that. And let me say this much. If you are going to make Christmas cards, I promise you, now is the time to order your foil. Now is the time to do it because it always sells out, especially the red and the green and the gold, okay? There's a set that has, I think, red, green, and gold in it, but you might want to go ahead and shop a little bit, you know, with that. Just, I know that it is just May, but you know how it goes. 
they so we start getting Christmas things in early and then they're sold out so if you glimmer or are thinking about doing some glimmering you know hot foil for Christmas which I do a lot of now would be the time to order it also follow me over on my Facebook page that's where I post a lot of advertisements for many companies Amazon, Gina K, um, Scrapbook.com, Spellbinders just look at how cute, look at how stinking cute this card is going to be. Oh, so there's a link below for that. Oh, Gina K taught me, tap, tap, and your glue goes down. Even though mine still clogs a little bit, that is a good way to get it to run down that little, um, thin little shaft there. Okay, card base. We're done. Look at this. Oh my goodness, it came out perfect even with our boo-boo but hey we have to just keep going right just keep going and there's always a way to fix it sometimes that way is in the trash but not this time <laughs> I have to admit that right it's like uh oh I boo-boo that too much that's gotta go but we're able to save it nice little black border here to pick up the black and the hello. Look at how pretty that is. And now, I also want to add a couple. Wow. Uh, like a million. There's a million in there, guys. A million. Hundreds, actually. <laughs> but to me, it's a million. Ah. So here I'm telling you to tap it down, right? And then it clogs. It's okay. It is what it is. I have ordered the Spellbinders bottles. They came out with some fine tip bottles. But they should be here next week, maybe sometime. Let's put two here. And... Again, separate these guys. They stick. And let's use the size right here. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's good enough. I think I was going to put six and seven over here, but I think we're fine. I think that's nice. I like that balance right there. Very, very, very nice. All right. Let me get these back in the box or in the packaging. Or, you know, these are like those styrofoam noodles that blow all over the place, you know. Put these away. And then we'll look at our cards. And I love that there's different sizes in here. Oop. One decided to take a ride, right? There we go. Okay, here's our cards for today. One with the black border, covering up my boo-boo, and one without the border. And I think they both look fantastic. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.